Hey, are you looking for part two of my review on Drake's views? You came to the right place. This is part two. Um, this is tracks 11 through 20. So let's get into it. So I want to talk about track number 13 um, featuring Future. Um, dude, when these two collab, it's amazing because you get this high energy, high performance song. And this one is like, no different. Like a shirt off short. Whole city going crazy. Whole city going crazy. Top five, no baby. Top five, top five, top five. Basically, this song is why Drake is on their why Drake is on his grind. It's not necessarily about the Grammys, even though the song is called Grammys. Um, I think they're trying to go something beyond that. They're trying to make a name. They're trying to be the top five rappers, you know. Um, and it's crazy in such a short amount of time that Drake has made a name for himself in the rap game. And so is Future. He's on the up and up. And they're not going to stop grinding because once they stop grinding, someone's going to spook. That's just how the rap game is. And honestly, that's how life is, you know, especially the job market. Yes, post-grad life, it'd be like that, right? Um... So, yeah, Drake is basically saying, like, you're not even on my level. The other rappers are like, mm, bah, swerve, like, don't even try, because we got this, and Drake is not um, going to stop anytime soon. So, um, that's that. Track 14 is probably the one of the most entertaining songs. If you listen to the lyrics, it's basically about a date or about this girl that Drake is talking to, and it's a mess, right? He talks about like arguing in Cheesecake Factory, like his, him, him, her swooping his Bugatti just to like drive miles on it or whatever. I'm just like, Drake, what kind of freaking girls you be talking to? You should be talking to me, okay? <laughs> no, but like, I'm like, Drake, why do you, why are you attracted to people? Females like this, you know, it's too much. Like, clearly, this is not long term. Like, this female is just looking for your money, your fame, and it's just crazy. Like, the adventures of rappers and like relationship wise what they go through you know and it's just like are you serious drake like oh my gosh ah, drake you're too much on the other hand track 18 fire and desire it's a real in another way and um yeah let you listen right there drake is asking the female like should i cut off these girls out of my life because we never decided this is the epitome of relationships today you know people talk and text a lot you know they have full conversations right the whole day then it slowly dies down and then they don't talk at all and then or you guys or like the couple has a what are we you know talk and i know it's a bit awkward but someone needs to mention it and like it's kind of awkward because what if the other person wants something serious but the other person wants it casual or vice versa or you're just not meeting eye to eye you know and yeah it's awkward but i think it needs to be in any relationship it needs to be addressed you know the it needs to be addressed because it's very important you know you don't want to have any miscommunications or mishaps or just you know, just weird, like, vibes or whatnot, you know? Um, so, shout out for Drake for pointing that out. Um, <clears throat> I also like the fact that he said, because we never decided. It's never, it's not, I never decided. It's not, you never decided. It's we. It's a together thing. Um, people need to keep in mind that at the end of the day, it's you and that other person. It's not you, the other person, and Twitter. It's not you and the other person and your whole family, right? It's you and that other person. And if y'all can't meet eye to eye, just two of y'all, then that's a problem, right? 
Um, I love it, right? It just makes you think of your relationships in your life, right? The last track I want to talk about is track 19, Views. It's about, it's like basically a culmination. Um, it encompasses what Drake is about, his views in life right now. And uh, one a lyric that stuck out to me is this. this day, it's only up from here, I promise you just gotta wait. And she took my word for it, that's all I had to say. Um, it's his relationship with his mom and how his mom trusts um, his son. Like, you know, it's only up from here. I promise you just got to wait. And the mom took it and that's all he had to say. It's just like, I commend all the parents of rappers and celebrities because it must be hard seeing your son and daughter always in the limelight, you know. Um, it's just, it's just amazing to me how Drake, tries to keep his life as private as can be but at the same time it can't it never can you know um that's awesome um unlike some other families kardashians they want to put it all out there and don't get me wrong hey if it works for you so be it but at the same time there's just some things you want to keep private right with this being said i'm going to end my review i'm going to give drake's album views a seven and a half because it is a good album but there is some cons i would like to see drake uh drake's lyrics um be more complicated and more um push forth the rap game i don't know how he would do that but just push it more um don't get me wrong i love listening and hearing about relationships but i would like to see you push it further um and i also felt like the album might be too long he could have cut maybe like three songs um ask me what those are but yeah let me know if i overlooked a track if you want me to go over a track or you just think um this is not a good album it's not seven and a half worthy um let me know your thoughts um or tell me why you haven't listened to views yet um let me know and Deuces, I'll see you around. Thanks.